Okay, so here I am painting, and look at this. I have a 3 inch nap on my foam roller, and I just have a really thick layer on my foam roller. So, if you have no other choice but using a 3 inch foam roller, you can just dunk it in and roll it out so that's evenly distributed. Otherwise, if you have a 3 fourths inch nap, you, you, you can't do this. You just have to um, slightly move in back and forth the foam roller and then paint. Okay, so now I'm ready to paint with a thick layer to dis distribute it evenly. So, let's go over here and I'm going to start like this. It's very thick but I don't have to do that many coats with this thickness. So I go over it, back and forth. Painting is really easy if you know the right techniques. And then right here, I have to go over this because everything needs to look nice. I need to go to the bottom edge because that's where my trim is going to be. I don't have my trim yet. And there we go. So I'm going to paint everything and I need to make sure that everything has the same number of coats, the same thickness. If one is thicker than the other, I have to do more on the one that's thinner to make them all look Nice. So I'm going to continue. So I finished painting, but before I can put everything in, I started here peeling it very carefully because if I tear it, it will be it will take much more time to remove it from the surface. So I have to carefully, slowly peel it away. This is masking tape that I used. And all done. And there we go. Now for the bottom, it's going to be different because I have to start peeling it slowly from the bottom. I can't just rip it up because it will take a lot more time. So I start peeling it from the bottom and work my way up. The importance of placing your tape where you paint so it looks very nice and smooth. Now the paint that I used was water-based, so if I have any paint here, I can wash it out with a soapy rag. That's no problem. Carefully removing. This is where it gets hard. Because I tore it. Like that, like that, like that. And then like this. And there we go. This painting experience, what I've learned is that you can paint a closet even if you're a beginner. You can do it exactly in two days and it will turn out wonderful. So I hope until next time, let's keep on doing DIYs.